Welcome back to the 13th episode of a close combat the longest day playthrough the Germans in the Gan campaign on elite difficulty and uh, well once again can you guess what we're doing we're defending a beach we do have a 7.5 centimeter and a 5 centimeter anti-tank gun for this so we'll see how well that's gonna help us we also have a heavy machine gun team four grenadiers an MG grenadier two sug troops and a mortar team now the enemy Oh, they only have one showman in this one, actually. Ah, we can maybe counter-attack these guys at some point, then. Anyway, let's do platoon HQ, uh, four ball teams, platoon HQ, and four rifle teams. And just another platoon HQ, I guess. And a couple of 50 cals. And a mortar, and a showman. Alright, well, we might actually be able to beat these guys. Little bit silly that we cannot deploy in these pillboxes, sir. You know, just why not have this gray zone go here or something? It's a little bit stupid that we can't deploy in our own defensive things, but oh well. Far be it for me to understand the fucking line of thinking the people making this game uh, this on, but yeah. Uh, okay, well, I mean, this looks good. We can definitely take on the enemy tanks from here with this gun. Now the other gun is here, and we can put that, maybe here. Yeah, that should work. Hopefully they're not too exposed to return fire there. Um, and other than that, well... <laughs> but, oh, we can actually put our guys on the beach also. Which, if I'm being honest, might be a good idea. Not sure if these guys can move out of here if I put them there, but... I don't know, that might be good actually. Might be really bad as well. Um, yeah. We'll put an MG team up here, or will we? Yeah, I mean, they can cover the beach, so that's fine. I don't know, I'll try with the heavy machine gun team out here. It might be good actually. Or it could be absolutely horrendous, so we'll just have to see. I think we'll get two Grenadier teams in each one of these, and uh, some Sug Trup in between them. Oh, that's a Sug Trup, so never mind. Grenadier Sug Trup, it's not very good to be in here, it's kind of exposed, the cover isn't grey, but uh, I'm thinking mainly for a counter-attack purpose to have them here, once we've uh, whittled away the enemy forces. There's one Grenadier team in here. Yeah, we'll just move over here, like this, and then we have the mortar team remaining over here. And I'll just put them right there, it's whatever. And with that, let's begin. Okay, well, we see the tank immediately. Well, it's firing at something. Unfortunately, it stopped out of uh, reach there. But, I don't know, maybe we can take it out. It's damaged. Are these guys not being very effective? Not really, no. But okay, let the enemy come in, it's all good. Still only damage, unfortunately. I'm not sure if these guys are actually actively engaging anything, which they should be. Let's just get the mortar teams on this as well. Like over here, maybe. Get these grenadiers on it as well. Might as well use the RNGs. Uh, we've immobilized the showman, but it is still up and running. Something which I hope to change very soon. I say we're doing okay though. If we just wipe out that Sherman, we'll do really good. See really a mortal team set up here, I think. I think I saw like a mortal smoke puff team. Let's just keep using the anti-tank gun as well, to just engage infantry with. It's worked out so far, why shouldn't it keep doing so? <coughs> Alright, well, it uh, looks like we hit these guys again. There's two guys still alive inside that Sherman. Fire! 
general, we've done a decent amount of damage. So I'll try to hit that down now. Oh, whatever. Let's see if we can get these guys. I'm struggling a bit to push up here for sure. There we go, finally the tank is down, and with that we can redirect the anti-tank gun fire to something else. And fire once more and then I understand. Go again, go again, fire, and then get back on the fence. So, we've lost one guy in this team, but that's fine. We are spraying down the beach with it, so... Nah, let's just kind of keep this thing pumping shots into the enemy infantry. The two in HQ trying to push up there. That should not work for them. It might take a while before we can counter-attack, but I really do want to try to get that done on this one. Wait, the Sherman? Um, I don't know what the hell's going on, but the Sherman is definitely out. Right. I mean, we're doing pretty okay, huh? We could take a truce, just keep pummeling in for the next time around, I guess, but... Why do that when we already have pummeled them pretty good so far? I feel like these guys won't be firing at anything unless I specifically tell them to, due to the distances, so let's specifically tell them to, basically. If I do push in, I might lose quite a few men, and I'll be worse off for defending in the future. But if we can inflict enough casualties, it could certainly be worth it. Now we're not doing too bad in regards to causing casualties, so... I mean, there's a shit shooting at us from over here, so we can maybe... Seems like a 50 cal out in the water, though. Around the door. Driving. What the hell? I was gonna drive, it's a gun, I need to relocate it and shit. But... Yeah, I'll just blind fire this position, see if we can't get this 50 cal team out before we potentially push in. We did hit one guy, so maybe we'll get lucky and hit more. Right, the enemies want the truce. And they can't forget about it for now at least. Just simply doing too much damage to them. Can we get some more fire coming out there, boys? Just let them have it. Saving ammo. That's really not that much of a reason to save ammo. Just shoot. Sincerely, just shoot. There we go. Now you can see them shoot. And then also, uh, let's get these guys on it as well. Well, anyway. Keep your heads down. So we keep looking for infantry to shoot that with our gun. Now what the fuck do they do? They moved it so it can shoot less positions? Fucking AI, man. Move the damn gun a bit further north. Fucking numb nuts. Dipshit. Low IQ piece of trash. Well, I mean, it's an AI, so no IQ really, but still. Alright, I think we took out the platoon HQ. Certainly killed something else as well. A couple of teams trying to make a move here, but it's not working out for them. I'm just looking for more stuff to shoot. Well, there's a lot of dead Americans on the beach. Like, a lot. We have one dead ball team, rifle team gone, 
Rifle team, bar team. At least four dead teams there. Five. Six, seven, eight. I don't know. We've taken out a lot of their uh, various teams. Don't say that, I'm not just shoot again. Um, I'm gonna just kind of sneak towards the beach, I think, and hope we don't get seen doing so. Just move these units in a little bit here. We did not wipe out these guys, they still have a guy in the area here, I think. Well, actually, if they could just blind fire, which would be great if they could, we could then uh, just shoot at this. Now they don't want to move the goddamn cannon, but they moved it earlier so they can't fucking hit the damn thing. So, you know, that's great. Uh, maybe we can hit the mortars down here if they don't save ammo the entire damn fight. Um, I would say maybe we sneak these guys over here. These guys over there, and then these guys over there, and then the mortar team can hang back and kind of support the endeavor. I do want to kind of take out these guys now, although we can just keep holding until we get the reinforcements with reserves to the fight. So if we start taking fire and do so at a really bad place to do it, I think I'll just hit that um, reinforcements button. Oh, they actually dug trenches, so. Interesting, I forgot about that. We could have probably placed them somewhere closer, in fact, and have trenches there as well. Use this piece of shit, five centimeter retail team. Anyway, yeah, well, let's uh, let's fire a little bit of disposition and see if we can maybe hit the guy or something. We got us infantry over here, we might want to deal with that. And we dealt with that. Very nice. Can we also shoot this? Just fire. Just fire. Well, I do want the truce still. What if that was a guy from... No, it wasn't a guy from there. So there's still this one guy left for this too. But we've really done some, some serious damage to them here though. Pushing them back into the sea is not unlikely on this map. Ah, there we go, there he is. One guy. Maybe we can pummel him a bit with this MG team as well. Oh, these guys have stopped moving towards the target. Oh shit! Where are we taking fire from her? I know, screw this. We're gonna take casualties and we need these men for further defenses, so we'll just take the truce. It's whatever. I don't want to lose these guys. We can push them into the sea when we get reinforcements up. Three, infant, uh, three casualties to, uh, to the enemies, like 50 plus, so I would say we did okay. Uh, we're still retaining every single squad that we have here. And, well, this beach seems very defensible. So we'll just keep defending until we can get reinforcements to just push them in the sea with. And uh, yeah, that being said, well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you left a like on it, maybe even subscribed if you haven't already. And with that being said, well, thank you for watching. And as always, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.